to another RetroPro video. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be covering the hot linking images and how to go about the process of finding a suitable source to download these images without, well actually without having to download these images. Okay so what we're going to do is jump right into the back end of the plugin and this is where we're going to actually be doing this work at. We're going to go to the site config and we're going to go to listing photo settings. Okay, so the next step is what I normally would do is I would jump into the local border realtors website and do a, a you know, and this one is actually a, a South Carolina, it's a Coastal Carolinas Association Realtors. So I went over there, I did a quick search, came over, clicked on one of the properties. This property comes up and then I just right click open image in a new tab and then if you inspect the element you're going to be able to get the element uh, information from this right here there's you know there, you know this is just if you don't know how to do this you're going to need some help open up a support ticket all right so once you've got a URL the very first thing that I do after that I go ahead and open up the first image and then I click on the second image and I open that up and I've already got that queued up up here and I want to go ahead and show you the difference. So if I wanted to use the local border realtors uh, URL path, I could just easily do this right here. Now, what do you see in this URL path is I see a couple things. What we're looking for when we do these is we're looking for the MLS number and we're making sure that there are no class uh, you know, like uh, residential, commercial. If there's a property class selector somewhere in the URL, it's not going to be doable at this point right now. But later on, we are going to add an option that can we can actually map that as well. But it's rare that you even run across that. What we normally see is a, is a URL structure similar to this, where what they're actually doing in this one, I already see it, is, is they're taking the last number of the MLS number and putting it here. Um, and that's what I can see is going on here. So I'm going to show you, this is a perfect one to make an example of. So I'm going to use this one to show you how that part works when they do that. You know, sometimes they'll use uh, different combinations of numbers. They'll be like three numbers or two numbers and then another, uh, another directory slash with uh, another two or three numbers. And they just break out the MLS number. And so we have a method to match that. That's not a problem at all. Then let's look at the second URL. So if you switch back and forth, you can just see what's changing. And the only thing that's changing is, is that the very first URL does not have a A, B, C, or a O1, or a 1, or anything like that right here. It's absolutely empty, just the MLS number. The secondary image is with an A right here. So you automatically know that if you change that to a B, just to test it like that, you get a different picture and if you change it again you should get a different picture so we already know that that's the the, the format for that so what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and uh, so we're going to jump back over to the dashboard here we're going to copy and paste that URL that's in here and we're going to go ahead and start editing it and so Whenever you're going to hotlink, these are the settings that you have to do. You ha always have to check the checkbox. You always have to go down and select the cloud image. Okay? And you also, the MLS should be selected by default, but if not, you need to make sure that this is the MLS number. Uh, the photo count. Photo count, you need to, if this is not set yet, you need to match whatever you named it. Uh, in your mapping of the RETS data. You have to already have your RETS data mapped and the data downloaded. All right, so you need to select your photo count. So now we know in this URL here, we see that there is a CCAR, CCAR. I'm really not sure what that MLS number is. I need to double check. Okay, so there is just that. There are no, there's no alphabetical anything. It's just a numerical. All right, so what I'll do here is, is I'll start right after the CCAR part, take that, and just type in MLS. Okay, so that's right there. Now, if you mouse over this, you'll see on the right-hand side of the tooltip, it's got the 
MLS in the bracket and you'll see custom MLS 1 and you'll see numeric MLS and those are the bracket tags and those are all going to be used in this example so we're going to this is going to be a good example of how to use all of those different uh, variations so what we have next is the 9 we need to figure out what we're going to do with that 9 so that 9 is the last number of the MLS so just all we need to do is know what that is and we just need to go in here and put another bracket custom underscore MLS underscore one and that is actually what you see in the tooltip on the right there yeah, it says domain.com custom underscore MLS underscore one okay so now what that when when you have a URL that's got a path that's using the MLS number you're going to need to put this in here like this and if you have multiple then that's what the MLS 1, MLS 2, MLS 3 so I've actually seen them go up to five or six it's rare but most always the three of them is going to solve the problem um, what we do next is we know that it was the one number only one number so we're going to do starting with a we know we need a length we need length of the numbers no matter if there's 20 numbers we only need length one and we're going to be starting from the far right not from the far left so starting from the far right we always do minus one so that's going to be minus one that's the number we need the last number now if we went the other way it would take the first number okay but we want the last number so this is going to take the last number all right now the last thing we need to do here is we need to go ahead and put in the variable remember we had an ABC on that so the next thing just like you see in this tooltip right here is numeric MLS so that usually is always going to be added right after the MLS number and before the dot JPEG all right so again type in the, the brackets numeric underscore MLS and what this numeric MLS does this represents these choices right here numbering format number prefix alright so we have quite a few options in here and we know that we have the lowercase a z and what we do is we know that the very first image if you recall up here does not have an A so we're going to go ahead and skip it okay that one's going to get skipped there now this one here uh, does not in the A uh, B does not have any kind of a uh, character so we're just going to leave it as none so there's no spacing there's no dash there's no underscore so just none is going to work just fine for that all right use remote photo count I'm going to go ahead and explain this so the photo count we've already got down here the use remote photo count this is actually only um, we used to use this quite a bit when we did IDX in FTP the old days that's what this whole system actually originated from back when before people were using RETS we used this system in our IDX uh, feed uh, instead of uh, downloading FTP zip files with that were you know 10 gigabytes worth of images we decided hey we'll just hotlink them and that's what that was for we never knew what the photo count was so we used the remote photo count and this was really great and the only time that you actually would use this anymore is if you were in Toronto Toronto is the only um, place in North America that does not give a photo count okay so um, a to Z this uh, you know this is the numbering format that's pretty self-explanatory I've already explained if you would check that or not now the other time that you this is a very very important and I'm gonna try and cover that in this video it will be the at the end of this video so I'll say all right you the rest of you guys don't need it you can stop but the rest of you guys that do need it keep on watching and I'm gonna go ahead and cover what this other part is right here so if you need to do this using an additional path then there is the reason the reason we invented this is so that the biggest franchises in North America Century 21 Berkshire Hathaway 
um, I don't know, there's a couple others that are all using uh, this big, Cobalt Banker, another one, that use this major, major uh, provider that pushes their franchise data to them. All right, and they have one of the best media servers out there. And I'm gonna try and do that for this example. Um, anyway, so I'll, I'll try to cover that in a minute. But for now, we're not using it. And this should actually be completely done. Uh, I've got this here for the thumbnail. And if you can find a provider, let's just go and see if this one has, if these are thumbs. Let me just right click on that open image and new tab and see if that is a thumb nope they don't even do thumbs for their own images if you had a media server that actually did thumbnails then you could use the settings here and so the way we've got this actually working right now is like that and this would actually be the thumbnail all right so we're going to go ahead and hit oh, uh, image caching. I'm going to go ahead and explain that too. Yes, I typically do image caching, and I usually set it for the max 14 days. And that will actually store images that are viewed by the, the people on, uh, well, even bots, I guess. Anything that's crawling and caching those pages will actually, you know, calling those pages will actually cache those images for up to 14 days, which makes it load even faster for you. All right, so that should be it on that. And let's just go take a quick peek, do a refresh. Okay, so there you have it. It's just refresh. Let's go ahead and open that image right there in a new tab. And as you can see, we are right there spot on. You can see we've got the zero matching the, la the last number of the MLS number showing up as it's supposed to be showing up. And, um, and that's really it. That's really all there is to that. Now, let me just show you if you can't find and you gotta start off and search for everything from scratch, all right? So if this explains everything, you can probably stop now. And if you need to know, uh, say, say for example, you looked at your board and you couldn't, you, it just didn't work. And now you need to, how do I go out and find somebody else? Well, we're going to go ahead and jump on that next right here. So what we're going to do is, what I do is I just take and highlight that part right there, the entire address with the MLS number. And I go, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. All right, let's see if this works here. And then what I do is I go ahead and I look at, okay, so we're just gonna be looking for places. So I would actually start looking, and now a stately. A stately, you can always hotlink a stately. Um, Movado, you can always hotlink Movado. Um, now, remember I did mention Berkshire Hathaway, so let's take a look here. Okay, let's take a look at their photos. See if we can open image in a new tab. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. And so this would be, this is like the universal. So I can promise you that this is a media server would absolutely be one of the best sources that you could be hopeful to ever come across. So we do know that we have photo one, and then we have photo two that we need to do the path for. All right, so this is the one, like I said, that it has additional picks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. This is gonna be a perfect example. We can wrap this one up. Uh, so what I do is I take the first one, and by the way, I uh, just want to explain to you when I see these, these zero zeros on this particular one, just because I've done all, I've got a lot of experience looking at these, <laughs> these URLs. These are actually for set, uh, size settings. And um, so a lot of these you'll see if you were actually looking at a thumbnail, maybe, maybe if I looked at that as a thumbnail, let's see what that shows up as. No, still not. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these two URLs and we're going to go ahead and put this uh, into our system here. So I'll just go ahead and I know that the only thing that's different between this URL and this URL, as you can see, when you start doing them this way here, you're going to see that this one has a dash one JPEG and the word additional pics. So we're going to go ahead and take this because we know the other one doesn't. And we're going to go ahead and push this off to the side. Let's go ahead and go back to that dashboard. Let's go back to listing photo settings. Okay, so I'm copying the URL into two places. And we're, so we're going to go ahead and do all this stuff differently, a little bit differently, actually, not much. And for example, we know that this does not have anything in the first URL. We know that this is the MLS number. So we're going to go ahead and just do the brackets. MLS, we know we got a dash and a one, but that's actually going to be down here where we're going to need that part. So down here, we're going to go ahead and put the bracket and numeric underscore MLS. And we're going to go back here and put the bracket in the MLS. All right, and we're going to get rid of, no, we need the additional picks down here. So this is back to zero. We're not using that part of this, uh, and we're not, we don't have a URL structure to deal with. And so here we know that we have a dash one. So we need the, uh, there are, it's a, it is a one right there. So we're going to go ahead and select the one that matches that. And we're going to go ahead and do the hyphen which is the dash hyphen there. And uh, we're going to get rid of that up out of that URL. So that is the way the first URL is, just MLS number, nothing else. And when we do it this on this one, we do have to have this one checked. It is uh, just the, it's just a combination of what we have to have to make this URL structure work out right. So you need to have check this. We have the second URL path down here. The numeric MLS is following the dash one right here. And everything should be good. And now we're not using anything here. So what we do here is we just go ahead and X that out. If there is nothing in here, then this is ignored by default. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the front of the website and see what we got. And everything looks to be working properly now. So that is a great example of how to find you a source. Um, you know, do two different methods of showing you how to do the URL path and explaining to you the custom MLS solution here if you needed to do URL structure. This is actually this is kind of a trial and uh, or trial and error. You know, if you need more assistance on this, you can always open up a support ticket if you need a second uh, set of eyes to figure that out for you. Otherwise, uh, hopefully this video is going to cover everything for everybody and uh, explain the fundamentals of how to use our tag structure, as you can see right there in the tooltip. Okay, I believe that should do it for this video. Uh, any other questions, check out the forums, and we'll see you online.